This is the Foxwell NT301 Car OBD2 Scanner and 12 volt Battery Tester. Let's take it out of the box. In the box we find the instruction manual and the unit itself, which comes in a very nice case. So we'll take it out of there. And inside we find the unit itself. We find the battery tester cables. You'll notice how these connectors will simply plug together when you're going to use that function. And it also includes a USB cable, which is USB to mini USB. And that's used to connect this unit up to your computer. Uh, and that way it'll allow you to update the software on it if there are software updates for it. But it also can store live data from your car. And that can be then transferred to the computer and then even printed out if you'd like. Taking a little closer look at the unit... It has green, yellow, and red indicator lights there that basically tells you red if there's a problem, yellow if there might be an issue, and green if everything is good to go. Also a very handy thing is the IM button in the middle there, which is great for the readiness monitors uh, in the computer in your car. Basically what that means is if you have a trouble code that lights up your check engine light, on a regular basis, you may be able to still get your car inspected. In order for it to be inspected, these readiness monitors must be complete, and you just have one button to press to get into that mode, so you can check that to verify. If everything is good to go in there, you can get your car inspected, and if there's no check engine light at that point, then you can pass. Otherwise, it's a nice unit, fits in your hand well, that's it. On the bottom is the uh, USB connector. It doesn't do too much good right here, so we're going to go ahead and take this out to the car, and I'll give, give you a brief rundown of how the unit works. So just find your OBD2 connector, which is usually under the dashboard, and plug the tool in. Now if you have a key, you generally turn that two clicks to the on position, basically where the key sits when the engine is running, but you don't have to start it unless you'd want to. Or if you have a push button, do not step on the brake and press the button twice and your dashboard will light up. So on the main menu, you have OBD2, which will allow you to read the trouble codes and get data from your car and anything like that. The battery test mode, DTC lookup, is where you can punch in a code that you know what the number is and it'll tell you what it is. Review will allow you to review data that was recorded by this. There's print data again, which is applicable when it's connected to the computer, and set up where you can change some of the parameters on the unit. Now that we have the car on, we're going to go ahead and just press the enter button because we want the OBD2, and it's going to connect up to the car. Now, it found the right protocol right away, and it turned on the green light and beeped twice. That indicates that everything is fine with this car. So uh, it says race previously stored data to save data from this test. We'll hit yes. And you have your choice of engine or automatic transmission. So we'll hit engine and now we can go into read codes. Stored codes generally is what you'd want. There are none in here, which is why the green light is on. So now we'll press the back button right here. And you can go up and down with the buttons right here to go through the information. We'll go to the IM readiness. You have since diagnostic trouble codes were cleared or this driving cycle. We'll choose the first one. MIL is your malfunction indicator light, otherwise known as the check engine light. It says it's off. And you can look up what all of these different things are in here as far as the different monitoring systems that are here. You can see how it scrolls down like that and then back. If we go over to live data we can hit that and it's checking the computer for all the different uh, things that it can display here. So it takes just a moment for it to do that. And then you can view data. 
You can see the complete data set. You can choose a custom data set and adjust your unit of measure. I'm going to set a custom data set of a few different parameters. I'll start the engine up so you can see what certain things do. Okay, I have all the numbers in here that I'm going to be viewing right here. Basically, you have the short-term fuel trim for bank one and long-term, short-term and long-term for bank two, the RPM, and the spark advance. I'll start the engine up. So now you can see that everything is reading, everything updates very quickly on here. And you can see various parameters here. The short and long-term fuel trim numbers will give you an idea of how the engine is actually running, if you can decipher these things. Uh, generally, you're looking as close to zero as you can get, but on an ice-cold engine, that's simply not going to happen. It's going to be adding and subtracting fuel wherever it needs. But once the engine is up to operating temperature, you'll see these numbers should smooth out. The RPM, I'll rev it up a bit. And you can see the RPM go up, as well as the spark advance change as the engine is revved. If we go to onboard monitor test, we can hit that. And it would have you select your vehicle. I've done that ahead of time, so it just has the information here. And you can see that there's tons of information, 16 items in all, on here. We'll look at the misfire monitor data, for example. And we'll just take the first one, and it says there's no misfires. If we go to the second one, whoops, wrong button, there we are. See, it's forgiving in that regard. This has had two tests, but there's nothing really showing here that's of any indication of any problem. So you can keep going here. There's misfire cylinder data for all six cylinders on this engine. We can go back. And we'll go down to component test. You can do an evap leak test. Certain cars this will work on, certain ones it won't. It said it sent the command, and that's really all I get on this vehicle. Depends on the car that you have. You can get vehicle information. It says turn key on with engine off. The key's on, the engine can be running, that's not really a problem. It says reading info. And the vehicle ID number is your VIN. Obviously, I've blanked that out, but you can see how it can pull the VIN. And really, all the rest here is uh, information pertaining to the tool. So we'll go back. And we'll go back to the main menu. We'll go over to Setup, and then I'll show you the battery test later. You can set the language configure the monitors that it's going to be looking at, set the unit of measure, the key beep set, which can turn that beep every time you press the key on and off, diag beep set, which is when it shows the lights, it has different tones for the different lights that light up. That's why sometimes you heard two long beeps for the green light. You can turn that off if you want. You can go down to tool self-test. And in there, you can test the keyboard. See how it, you just test all the buttons, make sure everything works. And um, then we'll go back twice. And the LED test is here. That shows the different lights. Make sure that works. And back up to display over here will allow you to test the screen in all the different colors that it has as such. Simple as that. For the battery test, these two just plug together. 
like that, just wiggle them until they fit. And now you hook up red to red and black to negative. So the unit is booted up. We'll go over to battery and press that. And we have the battery test, so we'll do that. In vehicle or out of vehicle, it's in vehicle. And it asks what type. You have regular, EFB, AGM, which is absorbed glass mat, and gel. This is a regular flooded battery. And now it asks what standard you want to test against. Mainly you're going to use the CCA, which is why that's the first one, cold cranking amps. And now it asks you what it is. So if you take a look over here on the battery, right under that dirt, you can see that it says 650 cold cranking amps. So we'll go ahead and set this to 650. Press enter. It says testing. It asks us if, if it's above zero degrees Celsius. It is today, fortunately. Surface charge detected. It says turn headlights on. So I'll go do that. And now it says turn headlights off. And there's our information. It says good recharge. Generally, you're going to see that at this point in time because people aren't driving their cars as much this car doesn't get much mileage that basically means the battery is good but the charge is a little bit low it's reading 12.30 volts it measured 449 cold cracking amps but the rating is 650 SOH is state of health that's at 58 percent so this battery can go for a while yet without any problem and state of charge is 63%. A nice long drive will, you know, get that up in a higher percentage range over there. And that's really all there is to it. So once again, this was the Foxwell NT301 Car OBD2 Scan Tool and 12-volt battery tester. If you'd like to purchase this item, I'll leave a link in the video description where you can find it available for sale on Amazon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like. Make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.